It's time for more Liberal Crime Squad version 4.12.21. A version, I'm a series that has confused, disappointed, and or frustrated some of my viewers. I can't answer all of your questions about the game. I... I don't even know all of the mechanics of 4.07.4, and that was the last version I played. Like, I, I stopped regularly following Liberal Crime Squad years back. And I... With how my memory has gone these days, just due to the stresses and events of life, uh, I'm not sure how much of the game is things I thought existed, and things that did exist, but were changed for reasons I'm not entirely sure about. So, on the one hand, Death Squad HQ is no longer Death Squad HQ, but did actually get renamed to the police station. On the other hand, we're being incessantly raided. The raids are full tilt, like they're sending the house at both these locales at this point. If tanks do get into the base, we have to eliminate all of the tanks in the base. Instead of just, say, one. Um, that's not the worst thing. Thanks to the power of critical hits and weapons that multi-hit. Uh, critical hits can blow off limbs. You blow off a tank's turret. You win. GG. You're not meant to fight turrets. But that is a way that you can use to fight turrets. Uh, you could also use flamethrowers for fire damage. Uh, fire damage is incredibly risky in Liberal Crime Squad. I don't want to <laughs> show it off anymore, at least not right now. So, multi-head weaponry. MP5s, AK-47s, M16s, M249s, that sort of thing. You could even use the shotguns, like the AA-12, but that doesn't have as many hits. Yeah, um, splitting up the squad is not going to resolve the heat issue. Uh, dissolving the LCS and letting some time pass could. Um, super splitting up the squad and just sticking, like, individuals in places could resolve the issue, but I think they could be raided by the conservative crime squad and they'd be alone, and I don't want that to happen, so, meh. I also can't defend those locations with traps or, you know, fortify it in any capacity. So I don't want to do that. I'm left to either pussyfoot around and constantly duck, bob, and weave with this squad of uh, the various assaults. I can also just take them on the chin every single time, come what may. But if I've got to clear out tanks, I'm not too comfortable with that, despite the growing rifle skill that you see there in the squad. Or I can get all these folks arrested. I'll start working towards legal process here. Uh, I'll get four liberal judges, uh, stash them in as sleeper agents, maybe a lawyer as well. We've got working law skill and persuasion score. Uh, the public is on our side. I don't know if we'd be fully acquitted of everything. It's been a long time since I've gone through the liberal crime squad justice system. And I'm not sure whether that's changed in this version. So, I can give it a try, though. And who knows, maybe one of these folks will flip. We'll have a good laugh. It'll make things even more interesting. One thing that I am going to do is stop having Grimmith and Lee attend the classes. I'm just, I just don't want to bother with constantly flipping them to psychology and religion every single damn time. I'm learning that stuff in preparation for having a master psychologist who could enlighten people quickly before it's discovered that they're missing, but it's not necessary to get maps uh, from CCS members, you just don't kill them, and you just eventually work on them, and you'll get a damn map. Or you could seduce them. We might seduce them. So, I'm gonna have Melanie learn that. Melanie learns psychology. Grimmith and Lee are just gonna stop learning things. I'm also gonna have Ian teach urban warfare in, like, the place of Melanie teach, uh, teaching uh, fighting. Alright? Alright. So, Everyone who's in Salutans is going to stay where they are. 
auto insurance is going to roll out. Let me go ahead and give folks mags. All right, good. I can also replace their M16s. Fine. Let's move that gear. Finally, let's dissolve these squads. Great. Move gear. Move it and move everything to saloons. Yeah. Um, let's make a new squad. Z. We'll have it be of Ian, uh, Jeremiah, Znat. I'll leave Melvinie and Victoria out of this. You folks. Baby Defenders. Great. Good. Looks great. They're doing their thing. Let's move out to James Condominiums. And we're basically just going to hop, skip, and jump, constantly cycling in between these locations. Okay? Okay. Fuck this shit, I'm out. Whoop. Activate. All right. First up, well, fuck. Community service. Who has the opening recruitment slots? Lee has two, Phyllis has one. Lee. Recruit judges. That's hard to do. Phyllis, you have a slot. It'd be good if I had four. Four, I think, guarantees 100% that you're going to have an elite liberal judge, like a judge in your favor. Uh, I can have someone else over on the other side do that. Maybe Melvinie. Maybe. How are you two with... Yeah, Melvinie can fit people. Let's have Melvinie recruit. Melvany recruit judges. Great. Has a day. Lee asks around for a judge. Erica Rappaport. Strike up a conversation about politics. Locks, I don't think we can allow that. Let's have conversations with everyone. All right. Phyllis meets three people. She can only fit one in. Files are being kept at citizens. Citizens. Political favors are bought and sold for campaign contributions. That is frightening. Melvany meets five. Great. We'll speed talk. Fantastic. All right, Suha Ramora. Have a conversation with you. And you. Just hold B on everyone. Until we get to that screen. All right, we did it. Assign tasks in bulk. Community service comes back on the board. Community service not only lowers the amount of heat you generate, and it's something I have assigned quickly, uh, it would also uh, raise your juice if you're in the negatives up to zero. And uh, yeah, because I'm not really going to have these folks do anything of substance while I'm constantly cycling them between locales. Um, I could have them go visit the police station and shut it down. Make myself feel better. Yeah, let's go feel better. Yeah, yeah, let's go feel better. I think that's a good idea. Let's go feel better. It's time to go feel better. Go right for the Liberal Guardian. I do think we are going to pay the police station a visit. I say good, sir. Look at our map. Our glorious, glorious map. Hi. Let me introduce you to pain, Mr. Locksmith. Janitor. Our good friend Janitor. We've got some power in this squad. Which is nice. Actually, using the S key. I still don't do that sometimes. Well, when the folks are alarmed, when they're not alarmed, I do press the S key to automatically have a fun interaction. Lee there, leveled up rifles. Good, 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 good. Our dodge score could certainly stand to be higher. Ah, well. 
All right, conservative reinforcements are coming. Let's duck out, and that's not much of a group coming to fight us. Blam. You're ready to fight for liberal cause? Good. I'm ready to have you. At the halls of ultimate judgment. Okay? That's what every kiss begins with. Oh, obviously we can't fit any more. Narco, Marcos. Leon, help! Law 6, whatever. Go there. We can even have you recruit another one, a backup, just in case. And then, Erica, it's been a pleasure. LCS versus cops. Bad boys, what you gonna, what you gonna, what you gonna do? Yeah. All right, great. Great. We've got five liberal judges there. Their effectiveness is not that high because they're known to be liberal judges. We're all gonna, we're gonna have them all lay low, though. Shh. Don't tell anyone. Spoilers. Mmm. Hold up. Milvany. You can have one more recruit. Mel. Lawyers are there, so go ahead and recruit us a lawyer, just in case. Watch, because it's renamed, like, it being shut down, like, works properly now. <laughs> I mean, I wouldn't mind. I'd be confused. Molly Ho. I like it. Lorraine Trotsky. That's a tempting name. Molly Ho, though. Yo. I mean, that's not the highest law score, though. So let's arrange meetings with everyone here. Hmm. Jonathan Quayle didn't even care. No. Lorraine Trotsky, I mean, it is, it's a cool name. Molly Ho, though, yo, no, they're still coming. I can't blame them. Makes sense. We need to grab our shit and go, though, yo. What are we going to grab? This stuff? We can grab that. We'll leave him a smartphone. Because I am a generous god. You're welcome. Silly Grimace. I forgot. Yeah, I guess we'll recruit Trotsky. Molly Ho. Molly No. Take care, Molly. I guess it's more fitting to have a Trotsky. Fine, God. <laughs> or at least more humorous. Let's have you stop recruiting, as fun as that has been. <laughs> Fix your clothes. Clean them up. Shine them up real good. Great. Gotta make sure we look super dapper. Super dapper. Super dapper. All right. Now what? Now I drag my feet and go, Mom. Dorothy has a recruitment slot. Oh, well. Ah, uh, boy. Okay. So I'm only going to be able to send half the squad. Lee doesn't have a recruit, but has have a romantic interest, and neither does Grimoth. Love to uh, you put the founder on the line for this, though. Right, okay. So, Grimoth, what are you doing? Why don't you explain your actions? Eh, it takes effort. Remove and... Re <laughs> words. <laughs> Let's also move some M16s over. Beautiful. 
and put some expensive suits on, as I'm going to go out to the Gentleman's Club for gentlemen. I can uh, recruit or seduce club security there to allow me to get into the club with whomever, no matter the circumstance, but I think this group will suffice. I hope this group will suffice. If it doesn't... I, I got nothing. Right, I was going to move the M16s. Salutins. There we go. That should suffice. Let's head out to the Gentleman's Club. The Hoover Gentleman's Club. Hey, yeah. Let me get the door for you. Thank you. I appreciate it. Table is occupied. There's plenty of action going on here. We're looking for someone who doesn't belong in this particular place. A good old boy, for example, would be appropriate. Although good old boys are dangerous. Oh, show. Sure. Well, all the same. Lee. What do you say we go behind a rock and get a little bolder? We should get stoned too. Hee <laughs> hee. I guess I'll arrange a date for the founder. So plenty of folks can be members of the conservative crime squad. Uh, but the easiest way is to pick out folks that you know don't belong. Folks who are preferably less dangerous than others. And that would be if you encounter, say, Hicks or Rubes here at the Gentleman's Club. They normally wouldn't get past the front door. Were it not for their connections. Note how there's plenty of people here in the Gentleman's Club who are also straight up liberal. Lawyers, engineers, bartenders, that's a thing. Sure. Photographers, almost said photographers. Coach. Country boy. There we go. Country boy. Could also arrange another date with Cameron. You know, he already. Cameron already does have a romantic entanglement, but you could have to. Your parents must be retarded because you are special. I can drool on you if you like it that way. Grimmer than Country Boy. <laughs> uh, Cameron. You tired? You've been running around in my thoughts all day, then stop thinking about it and come over tonight. Okay. R. Pad McGinnis. Let's spend a hundred bucks. And Doug here. Alright! Let's put the serious business gear back on. As fun as that was. Damn it. Can't use the numpad enter there for whatever reason. Forgot. Other than because I'm not allowed to have fun. Why would I be allowed to have fun? That's f illegal. It's fucking forbidden. All right. Uh, put that, put that. Let's move all of this gear back to saloons. Great. And pass some time. We got some money to throw around on dates. There we go. Well, we were able to create a map of... Oh, right. That's the club security. I seduced. I was like, wait a damn second. <laughs> what the fuck? All right. Ends up you're under arrest. I don't want to be under arrest. Consider my feelings. All right. Cameron now has two totally unconditional love slaves. Stay there at the Gentleman's Club. Look at that. Ernie's heart raising. Doug's heart there. Beautiful. We're just so damn seductive. 
so damn, not really that damn seductive, but we're incredibly persuasive and charismatic, the whole lot of us. Cameron, two romantic interests, double fisting romance, fistfuls of romance. Romance harder. They're not giving me maps, though, but I mean, whenever I install them as sleepers, I brought two just in case one of them, like, like it didn't work out. But it, it's it's turning out all right. Doug, there, nine heart now. The Desert Eagle Bar and Grill. That's what I'm looking for. Looking for information about Desert Eagle Bar and Grill, my friends. Heartless bastard. Keep doing that community service, my friends. Come along now. Doug is, uh... Doug stringing us along in a series of... dates. Constantly just enjoying the free ride of $100 per date. There's Ernie there, too. Still stubborn as hell. Come on. Oh, there we go. We got a map of the Desert Eagle, Eagle Bar and Grill. And uh, we have a totally unconditional love slave there for Lee. Make sure we install that sleeper there. Fine, just fine. Even though we already got the map. All right, we have a wonderful place to visit. And cuddle snuggle. As the rain falls outside. There we go. We've got some liberal judges in place. We have a lawyer in place. We got club security in place. At least one. In place to be arrested. In place to break into club security with everyone. And uh, go hunting. Uh, the conservative crime squad has three safe houses. We're going to be dropping um, the... Ernie, I believe it is, that girl has been dating. That way we can save that, uh, that date slot for someone else. Or when we need to get into the... Where we need to find this, the next safe house. Okie dokie? Okie dokie. Seems like an appropriate time to end the episode. Next time we'll have ourselves plenty of action. But, I mean... Not to say that we weren't already having action. Isn't that right, Lee? Isn't that right?